So this is my greenhouse. And I will show you the inside and show you how I did it. It has the outside flap here. But it just doesn't... Uh, I like to lay something on top of it. Uh, I absolutely love the door. I wouldn't have another one without a door. I really wouldn't. Uh, why? Because it's just worth it. You can see we've got the cucumbers growing. They need to be put somewhere. i got some strawberries trying to turn a little ripe. Um, i got a feeling if I shut the door, it's not really going to help. <laughs> I've got um, some tomatoes there. I've got cucumbers there to grow up on strings, which I hope that works. And uh, I'm going to get back up here in the corner, I think, so I can... Uh, and they're looking good, so, you know... Oh, that's good. That's like, it's like a jungle back here. No kidding. It is. It's like a jungle. Um, the one that I got, um, I don't even see my clamps there. I took and put pasteboard, no, not pasteboard, but cement uh, blocks, cinder blocks, the little small thin ones. I lay them on the pipes. I have clamps that I put in there. I'm looking for the rose bush, so I'm sure it's going to get me. Um, I didn't put the uh, plastic under there. I just laid it there on top, as you can see. And there's the, uh, the greenhouse, the green stuff. This was supposed to be clamped on it. I don't know why it's not on me. I had some reason I took it off, but Oh my goodness, I can't get that thing clamped on there. Hang on. We'll worry about that later. Anyway, I just pushed it up to it. I did not put it under it. Um, I also put dirt in here on top of the thing, and my son said that might not have been a good idea. He said it might rust you, your pipes around there. Uh, but I did put plastic on the floor, and why I did that was to keep the coldness out in the wintertime. It also keeps bugs, ants, whatever, out a lot better. Um, here's your window, and as you, can see, as you see, I had um, bubble wrap on the inside. I put it up on the inside to keep it warm in here, and then I taped up with a piece of plastic on the outside because the Velcro just will not hold that heat in. So you have to do that. Um, oh, here's the banana plant. I am not sure whether it's doing what it's supposed to do or or what's going to go on. I don't know. It's got little flowers on it. And I tried to. We uh, tied it up a little bit because it was getting so heavy. So we put a tie up there. Um, this is. Let me get back over here so I can get out of the jungle. It's hard to see. Okay. Now, I have to draw my hands. Um, I did that one all around. There's a block sitting under that one there. Uh, there's also the clamps that helps hold it down. So when the wind blows, it, it, hold it, it holds it in place. Now, do not use... This is what they send you to pin down your greenhouse. I'm sorry. That ain't working. Um, the wind will blow it up every time. So what I did was pipes and hammered in the ground and then tied it down and as you can see I don't know if you can or not there's one of them but they crisscrossed that one's from there to over there you crisscross them so you've got an X like going on top that helps hold it down um, also in addition to it being with the door which I absolutely love it come with these clamps that you clamp it on uh, I put that in there. That's a little, uh, it was goes to a boat where you, where you store your gas in your boat. And you need air in there so it doesn't explode or whatever. And I thought, well, this, that'd be nice to put it in the greenhouse because you can leave those open. And air can get through there. That can let the hot air out. And it does a pretty good job. It could have been bigger, but that's okay. It's working. Now, over here is where you can see where I got the clamps. Now, that's only clamping the green stuff down around the pipe so it can't pull it up. I hope you can see that. 
Um, that's how I did mine, and it's worked for a couple, well, three or four years now, but I had smaller ones. This is a bigger one. Still working. Still working. Up there is where you see I've got the strings tied, and then I'm having to run them down to the side for the cucumbers to grow on. And, um, got uh, little baby banana plants growing. There's two more, and actually there's one over there. Another small one. Uh, and there's a bigger one. So, anyway... Uh, I, I just, it's just so much fun to have. I wanted to show you for my videos don't last too long, so let me, let me get in here. I'll show you the people I bought mine from. Alright, I just made it smaller, didn't it? That one, I could have went that way probably with it. There we go. Here you go. I'll leave it and hold it still so you can... See, I bought this in October of uh, 2000, uh, 2023. Uh, it was $179. It's regularly a 200 and some dollar one. But they had it marked down. But it's still for that price. I checked a while ago. And the frogs are singing lovely. Lovely. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Anyway, I got the one with the two windows. The reason for that is because the more windows you have, the more air you're going to lose. Two, uh, the four windows, two on each side. Four windows is plenty. You can't open your window right in front of these baby plants because the hot air pulls through. And when it does that, uh, it, it will burn your plants and just, you know, kill them off. <coughs> so you don't want to do that. But this says portable 20 by 10 by 7.5 height. I like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we got stuff blooming. It's just driving me nuts. It says extra high, large walk-in greenhouse for out of doors. Uh, upgraded swing door. Heavy-duty galvanized steel frame. Tunnel greenhouse kit. Reinforce the PE cover and film clips. Uh, this has, this is the best. This is the best one I found. I've had four other ones. But this has been the best. It really has the material. I hope y'all got that. There's who had it, Papa, Papa Baby. That's what it was under. I was kind of like, mm -hmm, I don't know about that. But yeah, it was fine. It got here fine. And what you do is, um, you build your frame. And then you put your, your green stuff over it. And then you put your plastic down, and you run it. You put, go around with the clips, and you pull up that, pull this tight. You know the green stuff, your cover tight, and use the clamps. I did that all the way around, and um, two reasons for that: it helps to keep it from flopping around and blowing, maybe blowing up. It helps it more steadier. Uh, then you put your plastic down. And, um, yeah, mine's a little messy, but, you know, it's okay. Um, you put your plastic down, and you just put it up to there. You don't put it under it. And uh, that really helps out a lot. Uh, and then I had, I think I put six, three on each side of these small cinder blocks. Let me get down here so I can show you. Right there. See, they're not the big ones. They're the thinner ones, but they're solid. I put one, uh, three on each side. Might have been four because this is a big, big greenhouse. Um, there's one of them right there. You can see a lot better. Those I've got laying on the pipe but not punching the uh, plastic stuff because it will tear it. Um, so anyway, and then on the outside I come out here. This is kind of poles I'm telling telling you you need to get. This happened to be an old mop. That's what that was. An old mop handle. you got to drive them in the ground, the metal. And you do that on your four corners. And you tag your rope down. And I did an extra one across there. Right in the middle of it. And you can see i got flowers growing. Let's see if we can get over here. Got some flowers growing. But anyway, right here. Uh, when I was inside, after I had clamped my stuff, I could see air, see the light under there. So the ground wasn't that level. And I thought, okay. 
So I great, 